The Pan is faithful out in force on Friday night in Cortland as John Brophy and the number one seeded Panthers take on defending Class A champion Somers and coach Tony DiMatteo. First quarter, Somers up 7-0 early, but Panis' Liam Hagen completes an 18-yard touchdown pass to Tim McCauley. The extra point fails, and Somers has a 7-6 lead after the first quarter. More from the Panthers, handoff to the big man, John Brophy. He carried the load all night long, here from three yards out. He puts Panis on the board, 13-7, midway through the second quarter. Back to Somers, though. Tim Fazinga, one of several Tusker backs getting carries, takes the handoff and goes right up the middle, 49 yards. He's pulled down at the 11-yard line. Just two plays later, Fazinga finishes the job. Five-yard run puts the Tuskers back on top, 14-13, with just 2.35 left in the half. Check out the ensuing return by Tim McCauley. Looks like he's going down once, now twice, but he stays on his feet and into Somers' territory. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Great field position leads to this touchdown throw. From Hagen over the middle to Trey Hodge, a 30-yard strike. Panis leads the defending champions 20-14 at the break. Same score as we head to the fourth quarter, but not for long. John Brophy, his second score of the game, this time from three yards out. The workhorse would finish with 124 yards on 31 carries. Panis up 12 on Somers, 26-14, with 11-14 left in the game. Somers fans were out in force on the road, and they were not thinking upset. Connor Vlasity takes this one 18 yards for the score. Great blocking up front. Somers within five, 26-21, 7.34 left. After a quick three and out gives the Tuskers the ball back, they take advantage. Fazinga spins off a defender and into the end zone. Seven yard run, Fazinga goes for 151 yards on just 11 carries in the game. Tuskers convert the two point conversion and suddenly are on top 29-26, under four minutes to play. Possible final chance for Panis, fourth and five. Liam Hagen scrambles and reaches for the first down, but the measurement shows he is just short. Somers takes over. The Tuskers survive, overcoming a fourth quarter 12-point deficit on the road against a tough defense. Somers looks like they might have that championship feeling once again. They travel to face Ossining in the semifinals next Friday at 7 p.m. The road to the sexual championship goes through Somers! <laughs>